Hello, my name is Laura Modelli. Welcome to Science for Education, supporting teaching and learning in science education. In our previous videos, we've talked a lot about electricity and that there are conductors and insulators. Some conductors are made from metals and, such as iron, copper, silver, etc. And some are made from ions such as salt water. And speaking of ions, in today's episode, we are going to try to generate electricity from fruits. Fruits are rich in superconductive ions, such as potassium, magnesium, and different kinds of acids. Citric acid, malic acid, tartaric acid, etc. Now, therefore, in theory, they should be able to conduct electricity. Just like the salt water in the last episode, but what happens if they are in contact with certain metals such as zinc and copper? Let's find out. Here I have different kinds of fruits, apples, grapefruits, tomatoes, pickling cucumbers, bananas, and even potatoes. I also have some other materials, an RGB LED or light emitting diode, and some zinc and copper electrode wires. For you to know about this LED, the length of the legs explains which one is positive and which one is negative. The long leg is positive and the short leg is negative. We are going to connect our fruits and other components in series. First, let's do this with apples. Pay attention to the LED. Next, we are going to try with potatoes. Let's do it with grapefruits. Next, with tomatoes. How about bananas? Last one, let's try with pickling cucumbers. What happened here is like what happened inside a regular battery. As in regular batteries, the electrodes will act as cathode or negative charge and anode or positive charge, allowing a small electrical current to be generated by chemical reaction. The citric acid in the fruits acts as a kind of electrolyte that reacts with the metal electrodes, zinc and copper, to generate ions. These substances allow ions to freely move through them. Then the electrons slowly build up on the zinc cathode and once a wire is attached, will flow through the wire and LED will be on. Now that is how you generate electricity using fruits. Before we end this episode, let's try one more thing. How much voltage is generated by fruits? Let's switch the LED with our voltmeter to measure the voltage. These three small cucumbers measure less than 0.1 volts. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you next time.